And right now, basement waste disposal plant. This is world six <laughs> that we're in. This is the disgusting pipe. Leads to a dead end, but there's a nice little inlet over here that we can take. There's a Jinjo behind this pipe here. Actually, no, it's not. It's a Minjo. <laughs> Fooled you, Bert. Now, if you'll see here, there's a glass pane, but we can see... Uh, behind this pane is most of the rest of the world. There's a Jiggy in that crate. And we cannot break open this glass pane, unfortunately. However, there's a big red button here for the toxic waste disposal. Let's push it. And that turns off the pollution and it magically depotes the whole pool. Thanks, giant teddy bear! Now our water is crystal clear! I mean, there was still a whole bunch of toxic waste that got dumped in that you need to get rid of. It's just no new one. New, no new stuff is being dumped in. No, as long as no new stuff is, dumping in, is being dumped in, then it's completely fine to swim in now. Actually, no, it's not. It's too cold. You know what? I can, I can respect that. One of the things I don't like about going to the ocean is that the ocean's always super cold. Alright, anyhow, that's literally all we can do. It's a nice little sneak peek at what World 6 is going to be like. World 6 is most people's least favorite world in the game. It's one of my favorites, actually. More on that when we get there, though. The pool looks much cleaner now! Thanks! Oh, uh, we've still got the temperature problem to sort out, though. The water is cleaner! But there's still the temperature to fix! Yeah, and your freaky arm! Yeah, unfortunately we can't fix this freaky arm. That's a bit of a shame. And there's still one ha one place we have not explored yet. The Wave Racer Pyre. Oh. Let's check it out. Hey! It's Captain Blubber from the first game. He mentioned that he was going to spend, spend, spend after we got his treasure back for him. I guess he bought a wave razor higher here. But he doesn't seem very happy. What's up, Blubber? Holy oh, there. It be old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How you going, me hearties? Oh, a bit of a hard day, really. <laughs> Hey, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beats standing around, though. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, land blubbers. All the wave racers are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Uh, perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two. Ah, shipmates. But I will sell you the last possession for just one doubloon. How about it, me hearties? Do you want me last possession for one doubloon? I don't know what it is, so nah. Build rats, welcome back and see me if it is new. I love the continuity. Uh, Jolly's partner uh, rented one of Blubber's Way Racers and both of them apparently got eaten. Uh -oh. Do you want me last position for one doubloon? Sure. Why not? It's just one doubloon. Uh, he's a good un banjo. Have a look inside this here crate. Magic? <laughs> Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly's for their quiz night. There'll be 1,000 doubloons up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having me a fine new flying machine. Well, <laughs> turn one doubloon into a thousand. It's possible. I don't recommend it, though. Where's the Jinjo? Legend has it that goldfish hold the secret to fast swimming! Yeah, that's referencing saving the goldfish at the beginning that we already did. And you definitely want to save Royston before you attempt this world. I'm just gonna say that. Yes, I hear the Jinjo. I'm trying to find a way up there. And here we go. Jump on these gas cans. I said, jump on these gas cans. <laughs> Gotta do a little flip out, but then go back in. 
Hey, bro. The Yellow Jinjo family is complete. They'd like you to have this. Their family heirloom. Oh my gosh, there's a shock jump disc here. I never even knew that. Oh, I did it the hard way. <laughs> okay. And then what's in Jolly's crate? In Jolly's crate is his last pair of sneakers, apparently. Works for us! Turbo Trainers! Now remember, Turbo, per, turbo Trainers and Banjo 2 can run across water, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And if we run across the water, we can get this Jinjo over in this cable right here. Blue Jinjo! Our first of seven Blue Jinjos! I can't believe we haven't gotten one until now. Also, if we go underwater here, we got some doubloons! Alright, there's also this crater in the bottom of this sea. We're gonna go down here. We go this way, there's an octopus We're blocking our path. We're not gonna go that way. However, there's an alternate way we can go down here. Thank goodness for double air, am I right? Jolly Rogers Lagoon, the Smuggler's Cavern. There's an underwater cavern around here. Oh no, we got a blowfish. Stay out of his way if you can. Beautiful. There's a transparent fish down there that has a Cheeto page inside it, but we can't actually get that yet. There's also this pipe over here with Kazooie's face on it. We cannot access that pipe yet either. However, this takes us to this beautiful little cavern. And there's a Jiggy all the way over there. On that remote piece of rock. And unfortunately, we can do nothing to get that Jiggy just yet. There are quite a few Jiggies and collectibles in this world that you can't get until you get future moves. <laughs> Having trouble breathing underwater? Go see the Shaman! Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, even with double air, I was running a little low on air in this game. Nice thing about this, though, I may have mentioned this before, I can't remember. Uh, in the first game, if you ran out of air underwater, you just instantly died. In this, if you run out of air, whether underwater or in, like, a toxic uh, gas cave, you will just instead start slowly losing your HP. So, it's not a huge deal if you run out of air, but try to keep your air meter up if possible. Alright, here we are in Jobbies. Yeah, Jolly's apparently has a secret passageway in the back room to a secret cavern with pirates in it. There's this little window here, and we can look through it, and we can see the rest of Jolly's. There's also this uh, barrel of gunpowder here. Well, when in doubt, grenade egg! <laughs> and that just blows a hole clean through the sidewall of Jolly's building. Oh, poor Jolly, he's gonna have a lot of repairs to make, but you know what? Small price to pay. We gotta get a shortcut back to town. <laughs> it's the little things like that that make this game for me. I love the little secret shortcuts. They're all over the place, like... <laughs> this is just one example, and we'll see plenty more in the future worlds, but it, it's great. Another doubloon! Beautiful. Alright. At this point, we're gonna go see Mumbo. Because Mumbo's power is pretty important in this world, and it's gonna make the world a lot nicer. Oh, and Mumbo has his, pri his savings here. Let's steal all of them. Now, here is something that's extremely easy to miss. Inside Mumbo's skull here, there's a tiny, tiny little crack in the wall. <laughs> If you see a crack, shoot a grenade egg. We can blow up part of Mumbo's wall, and there's a second secret exit out of Mumbo's. And this takes us... to Jolly Roger's Lagoon, but this is the part we could see in the Turtle View Cave. This is the part that's cut off from the rest of it. It took me ages to figure out that that was the year. <laughs> hey, that's the guy who says, Aha! from the first game. 
What's up, Tip Top? How you doing, bro? Oh, I don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem, Tip Top? It's my baby. He's about 32 weeks late. Can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Um, bro, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but if your egg is 32 weeks late, I don't think it's going to be hatching. Don't worry, we got this. We got this tipped up. <laughs> what are you doing? That's no way to open the egg. You'll blow my little one to pieces. Jeez, way to make me feel bad. <laughs> Are there any doubloons underwater here, or is this just a pool for decoration purposes? I think it's just for decoration purposes. Yeah, we also can't do anything with Tip Top yet. We'll have to come back after a future world. Hi! Oh, hi! Eh, they're still easy to beat. <laughs> Alright, anyhow, now for Mum- now to visit Mumbo for real fees. Hi, Mumbo! We stole your life savings! Hope you don't mind! Me no mind at all, Baron Bird. <laughs> Welcome again, Baron Bird. Oh, uh, we've got a Globo! Must give magic creature to Mumbo if you want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yep. Sure, we need all the help we can get! Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Alrighty! We get to play as Mumbo! For, like, literally five seconds, because we literally just go to that one Mumbo pad, play, and then we never want to be him again in this world. Mumbo can't swim underwater. He can swim on the surface of water, but not underwater. And, uh, if you think that this world is kind of tiny right now, because it's just this little seaside town, this is, like, maybe half the world. Most of the world is underwater, in that little, like, crater we swam through, and we avoided because of the octopus. This Mumbo pad is gonna make our lives a lot easier, though. Hope this works. Sunlight oxygenated water. Don't ask me the science of how this works, but I won't complain, video game logic. It's gonna increase the power of the sun on this pool, but instead of like evaporating the water. Mumbo shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Baron Bird not need to hold breath in there now. Yeah, that literally makes it so that when we swim underwater in this world, uh, we have infinite air. I don't know how the magic of that works with just like, oh, I increased the power of the sun on this water and now you can breathe under it. It's like, that makes no sense, but I'll, I won't complain. Because infinite air on this world is one of the other main things that makes this water world actually kind of good. <laughs> you don't have to worry about drowning. Which is nice. We also have the better swimming from Royston the Goldfish. We can attack underwater with the sub-aqua egg aiming. And it's a, it's actually kind of fun to explore the underwater area. And speaking of which, well, hang on. Before we go to the underwater area, we now have enough doubloons to purchase Pono's Jiggy. So we have 27 doubloons. I believe I believe there are only 27 doubloons in the game, and two of them are optional that you can get from Black Eye if you talk to him a whole bunch. I think you only need 25, though, for this world to actually get everything. It's still 20 doubloons for the Jiggy. Would you like to buy it? What do you say? I. Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. I love how he's wearing the horizontal striped shirt, making him look like a criminal. There we go. That's usually the first jiggy you're gonna get in this world. <laughs> Man, we've explored this world for kind of a long time, and we've only just gotten our first jiggy. Welcome to Banjo Tooie. Now, if we go back after purchasing the jiggy, he has a Cheeto page for sale. Hello again. Ah, uh, how much for the worthless old page? Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Oh, yes. 
I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to need the final five doubloons, but there's also an extra two. Welcome back. The page is still available if you want it. I'm sure it would still be here next year. It would still be five doubloons. So do I have a say? What do you say? I... Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. The music in this world is so good. At least when you're in the seaside town. Alright, there's our first Cheeto page of the world. Yeah, I really, really like the seaside town part of this world. The underwater part doesn't really do it for me. I just don't particularly like underwater in any game. Having said that, it's definitely better than most. Like, it's better than all of the Mario 64 underwater levels. It's definitely better than Clanker's Cavern and Rusty Bucket Bay. And it's definitely better than Gloomy Galleon from Dolphin Fall 64. Alright. Let's swim in. So one thing that you might want to do uh, is underwater to make the underwater swimming. You can just go first person mode with the egg aiming. We're going to equip ice eggs because ice eggs underwater are going to be really useful. If we shoot these little... Um, See an enemies in the eye with a nice egg. It'll stun them, and we can swim and get these note bundles that they're carrying. Sometimes the hitboxes underwater are not terribly great. Oh, that guy just had some eggs. Lame. Yeah, again, you have to hit this guy in the eye. This is why I'm saying, definitely save the goldfish before doing this just for the faster swimming. Okay, so if we go down here, there's an octopus blocking our way. However, if we shoot him in the face with an ice egg, he will freeze and we can actually get around his tentacles a lot more easily. Because otherwise, if we hit his tentacles, then he will damage us and we will be in a world of pain. Which is not fun.